Okay, so this is my knife as of right now. Looks pretty good. And what the difference between this video and the last is that um, I went over it with a little needle file. With my needle file set. And that really brought out the, like, the shape of the knife. And right now, I mean, I like what it's looking like now. Um, I went over it with a little bit of sandpaper. And that kind of like got out most of the deep scratches and everything. But um, now all I have to do is put it in my um, put it in my forge and heat treat the metal so it can hold an edge. Then um, buff it out and then do the handle. And then this knife will be done. I'll be updating you along the process. I might make a heat treating video. But um, the other day I drew out a knife for my next design. I think it's a pretty cool design. This, this is it. Um, it's a pretty big knife. Here, let me try to get the papers straight. It's a pretty big knife. It's going to be... Uh, 11 and a half inches total and the blade's going to be seven and a half inches the handle is going to be a pretty big handle it's going to have like a double loop where the fingers go and about a three finger spacing at the back of the handle and also I'm kind of incorporating a design from uh, another guy on YouTube that makes knives called tell and get rich it's T L I N G E T R I C H. He makes some pretty cool knives. He like this pretty much the back part right here is all him. And this design in here is me. And um but this is like based off of one of his knives that he made. And you should check some of his videos out because he does some cool stuff. But yeah, so and this knife's pretty sharp, just off like sanding. I haven't sharpened it yet, but I'll show you how sharp it is. It's pretty sharp. I mean, this is not, this is a sharp knife. It just cuts through this like butter. And it can cut hair off your arm. So.